Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the Frontline Changes Report and uh, we have quite a number of frontline changes over the past 24 hours and everything is red. Uh, we have a uh, Novo Kalinove, Ocheritine, Novo Bamutivka, Badaichi, Semenivka, Kyogivka and Robotine. So uh, so in case you cannot see, so just just to show you, you know, where are the frontline changes in a general sense. So we're going to start off with Novo Kalinove uh, over at the, at the FK front. So, so this is where most of the front line is because this is also where where, uh, where the Russians are actually focusing their attention on. And over at Novo Kalinove, the Russian forces have attacked. Uh, oops, very thin, too thin, too thin. Uh, not not sure. Uh, okay, uh, over on the eastern part of Novo Kalinove, they're attacking uh, on the eastern part uh probably moving in the direction of Karami. And uh, this is basically bypassing the entire Ukrainian defense line around here. Uh, they are basically moving in the direction where, you know, they can actually don't even fight them uh, within this area here. So this is currently uh, ongoing. Uh, so this is the front line change over at Novo Kalinove. And uh, the next front line change is over just west of this position at Ocheritine. So previously, we already know that the Russian forces have captured the center part of Ocheritine and now they are actually expanding out from this position and uh, making their position even more secure uh, with this push. And uh, this is uh, this information comes from the Ukrainian side. The Ukrainian mapping actually has uh, mapped this as such. So which means that the this this movement, this change is actually confirmed. Definitely is going to be true because the Ukrainian conceded uh, this frontline change. And uh, very soon, I think maybe a, a few more days, if the Ukrainians are not conducting effective counter-offensive operations at Ocheritine, we'll prob probably see the capture uh, of Ocheritine maybe in the next three to five days. So we will continue to monitor and see how this progress. And the next frontline change is just south of this position. Uh, due to the Russian positions over at Ocheritine, uh, the Ukrainian position at Novo Bamutivka is now entirely compromised. That is, they put it, you know, good. Uh, uh, which is actually not that good because the, uh, according to Raiba, they, they got information that the Ukrainian forces have started to redraw away from Novo Bamutivka. And in fact, this is then confirmed because of Deep State UA's mapping. Uh, Deep State UA maps that the Russian forces have captured basically the entire of Novo Bamutivka in this massive change or this massive takeover. So this as this position, like I said, is compromised because because of the more or less fall of Ocheritine with the Russian forces able to attack them from three different directions. Basically, this makes the position totally untenable. And uh, so the Ukrainian forces do a redrawal, probably to Solovo Solovyove, which makes more sense. And with all these three lines around here, this allows a much more defensive uh, or more effective defensive position for the Ukrainian forces. So this makes sense. So uh, so this this is uh, Novo Bamutivka. The next frontline change is south of this position at Badaichi. According to Ukrainian mapping, Russian forces have uh, taken back uh, the center part or the center center west part of Badaichi, leaving only uh, this small little area of Badaichi under Ukrainian control. So the Russian forces taken this position and just south of this position, Russian forces Joe located over here uh, in Semenivka, confirming that the Russian forces have actually advanced further over in the southern part, uh, in the central part of Semenivka. So Ukrainian forces only left with a little bit of Semenivka left uh, to defend. And uh, given that uh, this, this line is actually co connected only with this uh, tree line, and uh, this road here is already inaccessible. This is already not accessible. Uh, I think Semenivka is going to fall within the next 2-3 days. If the Ukrainian forces are not going to do any more counter-offensive action and the Russians, Russians are con continuing to, going to push. An important thing to note is that the Russians can actually pincer this area here and capture this entire area. So this is the frontline change over the Badaichi and Semenivka. The next frontline change is a bit further away. It's over at Yogivka. Uh, over at this uh, Donetsk front. So uh, at Georgivka, uh, according to Ukrainian mapping, they show that the Russian forces have uh, taken grounds again, uh, taken back some grounds over in the south and the southeastern part of Georgivka. 
and uh, this is a continuing process as the Russian forces is going to continue to push in the southern part of Georgievka because uh, through the center is a little bit hard uh, as the Ukrainian forces uh, heavily defense this area here. So we will continue to monitor and see how this uh, develops over at Georgievka and the last front line change is over at the Zaporizhia front over at Robotine. So, uh, so at Robotine, uh, there is a dual location of Russian forces over this position in the southern part of Robotine. And uh, this actually invalidates uh, Ukrainian claims that uh, they still have positions around here. And uh, we will continue to monitor and see how this uh, develops uh, on the Zaporizhia front, as this front line is really, really uh, slow. And that's it. This is the front line changes report. Uh, look out for the SIP wrap that will come maybe between six to eight hours from this video. And I'll see you guys in the next update.